Now coming on to the most exciting part of it, what we introduced in the very beginning. If I don't know anything and I'm given any day of any year, how would I calculate? This is what is known as Zeller's rule given by Captain Zeller and it is applicable only to, I repeat again, the Gregorian calendar. Now, this is the formula that you would have to remember. So we should remember the floor values and once we remember the floor values, you would be able to attempt this question. Now, understand wherever I have put this sign, which is the sign of the floor value, that means any kind of remainder would be ignored. <clears throat> and then we have to take mod 7, that means only the remainder would be counted. So basically what you have to do is remember this formula and that is the basis of everything. Now you must ask what is all this K, M, D? So we'll understand that in a while. <coughs> Let's take a simple example. <coughs> I have the day as 12th January 1979. Now what is K? K is this 12. So I put 12 here. What is M? M is the month. We count March as 1st, April as 2nd and so on. So January would be 11 and February would be 12. So here month is January. So I put it as 11. Now D is the last two digits which is 79 and C is the first two digits of the year which is 19. In case of January and February, since we are counting January and February from the previous year, we start the year from March and we are counting January and February as the previous years, only for the case of January and February, we would consider D as minus 1. So if it is 79, we will take 78. Clear? Now, understand again, C would be what? 19. Okay, now I substitute all the values. So it would be 12 plus 13 into 11 minus 1 divided by 5 plus 78. Where I took 78? Because it was January. If it was March 19, 79, I would have taken 79 here, not 78. So be very careful. Only for January and February, we do minus 1. So 78 by 4 plus 78 which is D. Now C is 19, 19 by 4 minus 2 into 19, clear and mod 7. Now I solve everything here. This gives me 103. 103 mod 7, what does it impl imp imply? 103 divided by 7, <coughs> I divided by 7, 1, 3, 33. Now, 7, uh, <coughs> 7, 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28, what is the remainder? 5. So I have 5 as the remainder. Now what to do with this 5? How would I know what day it is? Remember, if it is 0, <coughs> we call this as Sunday. If it is 1, we call this as Monday. So if this is 5, what it would be? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So 12th January 1940, 1979 was what day? It was Friday. We have calculated this. Now, remember the same question if it was 13th January. How would you do? 13th January, I would have this as 104. 104 that means mod as 6. So remainder is 6. Remainder as 6 means what? Saturday. So my answer in that case would become Saturday. Very, very clear. So to understand if I don't have anything which is given and I need to find out the value. In that case, I use this simple formula, which is also known as the Zeller's formula to find out the day of any day, any date across any year. So this is the formula that you would have to remember. Remember all the values here, like here, the answer was 28.4, but we have taken 28. Why? Because the remainders have been removed. We are taking this as a floor value. Now, since the floor function is taken, floor function ignores the remainder. So these, this and this are the floor functions. 
when i say floor function what does that mean floor function would ignore the remainders clear so this is how we find out the absolute value